This man Eminem was bold as hell dissing Michael Jackson the way he did. The Just Lose It music video was extremely out of pocket. He really didn't give two f**ks. And M really starts the video off with MJ dancing cartoonishly down an empty alleyway. And this whole fit is just egregious bro. What are you wearing? And he over here making the tiles light up like it's Billie Jean or something. But meanwhile, there is this one man show happening on the inside where we see that boy Pee Wee Herman pop out on his bicycle to introduce the show. But look at this man. Dude look paler than a bee. Homie needs more sun for real. And whoever designed your wig needs to get their job taken away immediately. But now, as the show begins, Eminem C. Hammer starts strutting on the stage with his two backup dancers. But this is the most bland and lifeless stage I've done ever seen in my life, bro. Where's the panache? And meanwhile, as that's happening, we're showing Eminem as Santa Claus for some reason. But nah, look at how scared this little girl is, bro. She knew for a fact a wigger with a five o'clock shadow was dangerous. She said, hell no. But then as Eminem C. Hammer starts dry humping the air, this man M starts rapping about a new case of child molestation accusation. What the freak was that? I guess that was supposed to be Pee Wee Herman's laugh? What? Man, that junk was annoying. I sure hope it doesn't play throughout the whole song. But shoot, bro. This man M really did not care. I don't touch on everything but little boys. That's not a stab at Michael. That's just a metaphor. I but bro, you're literally taking a stab at Michael right now. You gotta stay 10 toes down with your lyrics, my wigger. You said what you say. <clears throat> but now, the video gets even more heinous. Cause this man comes out on a bed, cross-dressing as who appears to be Britney Spears. But just look at the breastplate, bro. Ain't no way. You even got granny looking disgusting. She was like, not even I was that freaky in my heyday. But immediately after, Eminem J starts moonwalking and accidentally bumps into Brit and M, which causes her to bump into some candles, which in turn makes her titties explode, which catches Eminem J's Jerry Curl on fire. Bro, just uttering the chain of events that transpired out of my mouth is crazy work in itself. Now, Eminem J starts running all over the place with his inflamed hair. Wigga literally runs outside to run back inside to run into the bathroom. <laughs> Bruh. But yeah, I know the real MJ was upset about that too. Making fun of the Pepsi commercial fiasco. M really pulled out all the stops for real. But I gotta commend the amount of balls it took for him to do this, bro. Balls. So now, we're in the bathroom. And this wig of Eminem is just drunk as hell. Stumbling on the nasty cootie infested club floor and goes into a stall puking his guts out. Damn. At the same time, inflamed hair Eminem J runs into the stall next to him and dunks his head in the toilet bowl. Ugh. Now your hair finna be smelling like raw sewage and man piss. But this next part is just nasty. So Eminem and Michael come out of the stalls at the same time. And as soon as they lock eyes, they hit that stupid ass Pee Wee Herman screen. Right, now lose it. Ah! And this man M just shoots out a water hose full of puke right at this man M and M J. This junk is so freaking disgusting. Shiz look like some chocolate milk for real. So after that, M goes back inside the club and tries to holler at a blonde woman, but she gut checks him instantly making him twirl around like handsome Squidward, which in turn makes him hold somebody else thinking it's the same woman who just punched him. But... Man, you must be about your mind. Dre, uh -huh. guy goes blind. Yeah, bro. Dre was not having it. I don't blame him. I ain't trying to be on that Diddy timing neither. You deserve it, daddy. But now we cut to Eminem in this red outfit while this young boy is just... This man got these kids doing the most. I know it's satirical. At least I hope. 
but I ain't trying to see no cuties timing. I don't care what the meaning behind it is, broski. But man, this song is random as hell. Cause now this dude is locked up. And it was apparently because he was running down the street booty ass naked for everyone to see. Thank the Lord they sent this boy hey, on yo. me, bro. But I ain't gonna lie. Em got a pretty solid body build for real. But this nigga Dr. Dre always looking pissed. He still wasn't having it. He's tired of this freaking song already, bruh. But then, we see surveillance footage of naked Eminem trying to woo an old lady, but then rightfully gets whacked in the face with her purse. It was probably the same old lady from the audience too. I know she tired of this shiz, bro. But now, for some reason, we're in a recreation of the rap battle scene from 8 Mile, which I still need to fully watch, by the way. But I will eventually. And really, this was just a whole lot of nonsense. I'm a grown man. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. This song is so freaking trash. Cause what the heck are you even saying right now? Dudes really let Eminem get away with putting this song out. I mean, it's kind of catchy. I guess. But catchy don't always mean good. But hey, it was a hit. So I guess the numbers don't lie, right? So after that lyrical masterclass, we revisit Eminem Claus just having the time of his life in his Mrs. Claus harem. But his midget elf is being left out of all the fun. Damn, sorry bro. Snooze you lose, I guess. But then, we cut back to the club with Eminem J chilling, having fun with the BBW while holding a bottle of Jesus juice. Oh my gosh, bruh. This man M was doing too much. But nah, bro. I can't with these lyrics right now. Ugh. This sentence right here is just crazy. But the Michael Jackson disrespect continues, showing Eminem J at the club doing whatever dance by himself when he accidentally rips off his own nose and scrambles to get it back. Poking fun at the insecurities the real Michael had about his own nose. Not even I would go that far. But Eminem sure will. Look at them kicking his plastic nose around like a dang hot potato. Literally a runny nose. And now this man Eminem J is just sitting on his bed while a bunch of kids jump behind him. Oh my goodness, bro. Wait. How the hell is your hair still steaming? I just wish this man Michael stayed away from these kids, bro. Like, I know he's innocent and all, and I know the reasoning behind why he befriended kids in the first place, but nah, man. No matter how you look at it, unless they're your children or something similar, a grown man playing with kids is gonna look suspect nine times out of ten. That's just my opinion anyway. But please subscribe, or else Michael Jackson's gonna purchase your back catalog of music.